Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete RDS Microsoft SQL Server databases in AWS using AWS console. I have logged into my AWS account. Click RDS here. Click create database. So we have two options. Either you will be able to do the standard creation or easy create. So in case of standard create, you have to provide the information for the configuration. And in case of EC create, AWS is going to follow the best practices and create a database for you. But still you'll be provide options to modify the configuration after the database has been created. But for the demo purpose, we are going to go with the standard create. And in today's demo, we are going to create a Microsoft SQL Server. So I'm going to select that. Okay. So I'm going to select the, the latest version. Okay, and I'm going to use the free tire. Okay, so I'm going to call the DB instance identifier as demo DB. Okay, and the master username, I'm going to leave it as admin. Then I'm going to add a password to it. And then the DB instance class is the bustable classes. And here you could see we have the DB T3 dot micro selected because we have opted for the free type. Okay. So remaining all I'm going to leave it as default. Okay. But the public access I need this because I am going to connect to this instance from my Azure Studio from my local system. So I want a public access. So I'm just saying yes for this. Okay. So remaining all I'm going to leave it as default. But I don't want to turn on the performance insights because this is just for a demo purpose so I'm just disabling that then click create database the database is getting created now but it is going to take few minutes for the database creation to complete the database has been successfully created let's review that click demo DB okay here you find the summary about the database right and here you can find the connectivity and security information let's copy the endpoint information because using that we will be connecting to this database okay and here you can see the networking information as well as the security groups okay let's go and review the security group click security group okay edit inbound rules okay let's add another rule okay traffic all traffic okay and the source we will select as my IP because I wanted to access from this system. Okay, so I have given the source as my IP. So my IP is getting listed here. So I'm going to click save rules. Okay, so, so now I will be able to connect to this RDS database from my Azure Studio, which I have installed in my system. Okay. So now let us try and connect to this RDS database that is the Microsoft SQL Server from the Azure Studio. Already I have installed Azure Studio in my system. So click create connection. I have pasted the endpoint information which I have copied. And along with that we need to provide the port number as well which is 1433. I have added it. Authentication type I am going to give it as SQL login. Okay. And then I need to give the username and password. Okay, I have provided that. So I'm going to say trust server certificate is true. Okay, and then going to click connect. Now we have successfully connected to our RDS database. Let's perform some operation and check. Okay, so we have all these uh, databases available. Okay, so I have selected the RDS admin database. Now let us perform some query. Okay, so I wanted to see all the tables in this database. Okay. So I'm going to select SQL list tables and views, click run. It is listing all the tables which are there in this database. Okay. So we have created a database and we have connected to the database using the Azure Studio. Now let us see how to delete the database. Let's go back to the console. Okay. So click actions. So you can see there are multiple options available. Okay, so you'll be able to stop this database temporarily. We will be able to reboot, delete, set up EC2 connections, set up Lambda connection. You'll be able to take a snapshot, 
the start to point in time and you will be able to create a elastic cache cluster also okay but for this demo purpose we are going to perform the operation of delete click delete I don't need any snapshot I don't need to retain any automated backups so I'm going to acknowledge that and then I'm going to say delete me then click delete the deletion of the DB instance has started but it is going to take few minutes the database has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create and delete RDS Microsoft SQL Server databases in AWS using AWS console. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.